I now have a complete program, which will demonstrate many of the features that we've discussed up to this point. The purpose of this program is to display a customer's name, amount of sale, and a total amount of sale. A simple calculation will need to take place to determine what is the total sale. Let's examine the parts of this program before compiling and executing. The first thing I'll draw your attention to is the compiler directive include iostream.h. This, you will recall, will allow us to use cout and cn type statements. Following this is the beginning of the main function, which includes our code. The first segment of the program is to declare and initialize variables. In this program, there are four variables. One is a string variable, which is called name, a short integer called quantity, and two floats, one for amount and one for total sale. As you can see, each have been initialized to zero, and in the case of the string variable, it is initialized to a blank space or a null string. The decoration of the name string will allow a person's name up to 14 characters to be entered. Remember, the 15th character is reserved for the null terminator character. Next, we have code to allow the user to enter data from the keyboard. This is accomplished by a series of cout and cn type statements. The cn.getLine will allow the user to enter a person's name, which will include a space, most likely between the first and last name. And then the next cout and cn statements will allow the user to enter the amount of the sale, and then the third set is to allow the user to enter a quantity. Next, we have a simple calculation that will multiply the amount of the sale times the quantity to calculate the total sale. And then the answer is being displayed in a cout statement, which is going to print the total sale, which has been calculated. Let's compile this program. And after a clean compile, we can now execute it. As you can see, the program is now running. I'll need to enter some data. I'll enter our friend John Smith once again. And at the amount of sale, I'll enter as $123.55. And we'll type in three as the quantity. As you can see, it has calculated a total of 370.65 which is the 123.55 times 3. So it appears this program is working. There is one item in this program that should be corrected, and that is the quantity is declared initially as a short variable. This should be typecast to float to prevent any miscalculation when you have a mixture of a float times a integer. Therefore, the Typecasting will allow all data types, total sale, amount, and quantity to be at least for the point in time when this calculation is, is executed, that they are now to be type float. You may want to study this program in more detail. It is referred to as Demo 5 on your CD.